So yeah, it's very, very different. And then in terms of, you might be wondering, what do we eat? What kind of food, snacks, whatever. Um, nobody is handing out snacks. You can bring whatever type of food you want on board. So if you enjoy, I don't know, peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch, you can bring that. Um, people tend not to bring things that are super messy. So for example, somebody brought curry one time and left it in the microwave and forgot and it exploded during the flight. So you don't want to bring stuff that is going to be super messy. Normally people have, you know, a burrito is something handheld. Um, you bring cookies. Um, and then finally, the last thing I'll mention, it's a little gross, but I'll tell you, uh, these air, airplane flights are much different because we're not just going up to 35, 40,000 feet and hanging up there. We tend to stay low to the ground and we do a lot of up, down, up, down, up, down. And when you're staying low to the ground, it's very turbulent and it can get very, very, very hot. So imagine being in an airplane, 100 plus degrees, and it's doing this. So there's a lot of motion sickness that happens on these flights as well. Um, and so I can say, I think the record, oh, the record is over 30 people vomiting on one flight. Um, oh. or over 30 vomit bags. We don't know if they came from the same person or not. <laughs> so that's, that's the record. When I, when I, my, my record for my flight, I did throw up on one flight and I think over 20 people threw up on that flight. So it's kind of a rite of passage. It's okay if it happens. Um, but because of that, people tend to bring very bland food. So when we're talking about food, um, curry, seafood, anything strong smelling eggs, we usually don't do any of that. It's a lot of like very bland. Here's some bread. Here's like, some old pizza, like something that's going to be very bland so that it doesn't upset your stomach. So yeah, I'll share that with you as well.